Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my top five but favorite and least favorite ghost types. Because ghost type is my favorite type, so might as well talk about my top five favorite and least favorite. So these are my top five favorite. First off, first off is Spirit Tomb. I just love the design and the lore around it. Uh, basically, you're being like a thousand trapped souls, and it is just a cool Pokemon. Uh, not very uh, good in competitive. I mean. Despite what that special defense and defense says, it's not really that good because the HP ain't that good. But yeah, uh, also it used to have no immunity, and uh, it had the no weaknesses. Sorry, like so it used to before fairy type. But yeah, that's quite cool. Um, before is Giratina Origin. Uh, or well, either Giratina can be pretty. Uh, I just prefer Giratina Origin just slightly. And I didn't want to put two Giratinas on it, so I'm just going to put them both at number four. Uh, but I'm just using Giratina Origin because I prefer it a little bit more. And I like how both Giratinas have uh, different playstyles. Giratina Origin is offensive, where uh, um, Giratina Altered is uh, defensive. And uh, that means you can that means that both Giratinas save different uh, roles in a team. I could have both of them on one team but uh, but they could save different roles and uh, and despite the fact that you'd have two ghost dragon types on the team you could viably do that because they are so different beyond the, the typing that and move for that so you really could just uh, use them um, it's mostly just like the stats are changed and the fact that Origin, uh, sorry, altered can have an item and Origin can't. It has to have Griffy or so. Number three is shiny Mega Gengar, just because that looks cool. Like that, that is cool enough to make it uh, to number f five on its own. And the fact that it is uh, quite competitively viable, it makes it number three. I mean, I don't think it's bandwidthy like Shadow Tag is in that bag because other ghost types and the. Uh, um, there's there's many there, well there's not many but there are a, if you're smart enough you can uh, get out of shadow tag or you could just punch it in the face hard enough um, or predict it to switching in and then switch into something that you have that has a, an advantage against it um, or you'll see that it's about to mega so just switch out with it before it megas anyway um, and it is quite good at competitively like look at that special attack. Like, you get hit by this thing and it's going to be hard to survive if you don't resist it. Number two is Drifblim. Even though Evasion, as I have proven twice, for the first time was I like, yeah, went on to show that and I just like went into multiple battles, just like, yeah, it's not really that good, it got counted. But, like, I, I can't remember how many times, but I think it was like one, it was something like 1% of the time I, own, I ever even got, uh, it, got to fully set up and even then it very rarely led to, to a victory or a uh, the other person forfeiting um you know just max out the defenses a little bit in hp special defense boosting nature go for stockpiles and minimizers baton pass in to a good poke into a really good pokemon and you are probably gonna win that as long as you don't get like unlucky critted or they use a Z move in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon, or I don't know if Gigantamax moves that um, take evasion and that uh, um, into account, um, or just lock on, or many of the other ways uh, that I proved in my second video to counter it. Number one is Mimikyu. Firstly, I love its design and how it just wants a friend. Also, I uh, um, love uh, the the Mimikyu song that was um, used uh, um, as advertised, kind of like advertising for Sun and Moon, a bit like uh, Ay Ayutan, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but the one that they did for Pikmin, a bit, it's a bit like that, um, and like that is very adorable. Um, off the top of my head, is that if it starts off with Mimikyu's cry, it's like, do do do. So I just want to be friends with you, that's why I like to copy Pikachu. My costume looks so realistic, I made it my, on my own, I'm quite artistic. You want to take it off? No, that's the worst. If you saw what's underneath, what's underneath you'd get cursed. Uh, 
I may look like someone else, but I'm just me. I'm Mimikyu, and I'm not that spooky. I'll use my... And he goes like, uh, I'll use my big, big claw to protect you in the scary fight and use my thunderbolt to lighten up the scary night. I'm Pokemon you can put your trust into, so please let me be friends with you. It's just so adorable. I loved it. Um, so yeah, and um, now where Driftblim is very easily countered, uh, because with Dr Driftblim can help you just demolish a team, but... Um, Mimikyu is the one who does the demolishing. It doesn't need the risky evasion and the, the stockpiles. It just needs a sword stencil too, or if you're in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon as E, a splash. Then Shadow Sneak, play rough, and Dray Punch, everything dies. Uh, you know, just max out the HP, max out the attack, maybe a little bit in speed so you outspeed all the Mimikyus. And just go to town on every mofo. Like seriously. It is just so much fun. Um, and that, uh, my friend Max who uh, will sometimes make an appearance in a video. Um, he hates Mimikyu. And my favourite thing to do back in Ultra 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 was the Splash Mimikyu. I wreck his entire team. I cannot tell you how many times I've destroyed his entire team with just a Z Splash Mimikyu it is so much fun <laughs> so yeah adorable wants to be your friend and absolutely wrecks everybody else it Mimikyu is it's not just the best ghost type it is probably the best Pokemon of all time anyway now on to the worst uh, I'm not looking forward to this. So bearing in mind here, just because these are the worst uh, ghost types doesn't mean I hate most of them. Actually, the, the Helmers here um, I have actually used it in, uh, in Trick Room teams, not in Mono Ghost, but in Trick Room teams I have used it and it is quite good in Trick Room. Um, but these are the Pokemon I do like the least out of all the ghost types. So, Dehilamayas. Firstly, I can't say its name. Dehilamayas. It's a bit hard. Um, for me to say his name, that's one reason why I don't like it. The second reason is, outside the Trick Room, it's useless for the most part. Like, it could possibly survive a, a hit, a defensive hit, probably not, and maybe a special defensive hit, but probably not, to be honest. Um, Steelwork, I think, remember being quite good. I think it's multiplied by 1.5 using a Steel type attack. So, it basically gains stab on Steel, Grass, and Ghost. Which is quite cool, but it's not really the design that bothers me, it's just the, na the name being hard for me to say and the fact that it's just not really that good out of Trick Room. Um, but, and you may be going up, but Gigalith isn't good out of Trick Room and no, Gigalith is not on this list. The reason why I like Gigalith more than the Hermes. Well, firstly, I can say Gigalith's name. Um, but you can say Gigalith is probably. Uh, to be honest, I do quite like Gigalith. Um, the reason why Gigalith isn't that I I like Gigalith more is because it has a, not, it has a cooler concept and design. It being a massive clay golem. Uh, with a soul inside of it, and the, the fact that, yes, it's uh, like the Hilmers, it's no, not really that good outside the trick room. Uh, it's still, um, with, the, with me actually being able to say its name, and with its design being a lot better, I just like it a lot more. On to number four. Ori Kurio Sensu. The reason why I really don't like any of the Ori Kurios is because it's just not good at all. Like, it's not really designed, the design's alright, but it's just the stats, which I never really expected to be that good, but it's 
it's underwhelming even for what I was expecting um, and the fact that you don't even get this into like the last island if I remember in um, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, it's just no no just not very good so this is the first one I would actually say I actively actively dislike and it's not getting any better from here. Jellicent has a uh, undeservedly cool Pokédex entries with it, uh, cool and dark Pokédex entries with it, um, you know, sinking ships and all that. But that, it, you see that and it's just not intimidating or spooky at all. It's just like, you look silly. You look very, very silly. And yes, you know a Gen 5 mon would have to make it onto my least favour of anything list. Like seriously. That's so many. Um, so, yeah. It's just, it's just not good. I don't like it at all. I know it is actually good in battle. Even though I've never used it in battle because I don't like it that much. I like it so, I dislike it so much that I don't use it in battle. I prefer Cofagrigus because at least Cofagrigus kind of looks interesting. This doesn't. It looks like uh, um, uh, oh, what, what, what's that guy? The, the Pringles. It looks like the Pringles guy. Um, but blue or pink, depending on gender. Um, so yeah, it's ju I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, on to number two. Blue Cephalon. To be fair, I'm not a big fan of any of the um, Ultra Beasts. But what, re what I really don't like about this is that it's basically, statistically, stats speaking, a better um, Chandelure. Like, slap a Focus Sash on this, uh, may or maybe Choice Specs or Choice Scarf, Max out Special Attack, and speed and then maybe and you could also run mix and maybe um have a little bit of attack on there and then um just go for a, I don't know, a speed increasing one uh also cool little trick you can do um which i learned recently in showdown if i can get my keyboard is that you can do uh, if i can find it you can do the plus there and then minus whatever so might probably minus defense because you're probably not surviving anything and then it instantly gives you whatever nato you put in which is nice you see I'm to go through them so um probably plus speed minus the defense and then Oh, I did not mean to highlight everything. Uh, and then just like, oh, focus hash or again choice scarf or choice band. With like flame throw or fire blast, depending on the, uh, whether you want perfect accuracy or not. But I go for flame throw because there's not much of surviving it anyway. Um, or you could go for mind blown if you uh, want the recoil. Go for psychic uh, or psy shock for the coverage. I forgot that happens when you do that. Shadow ball. And maybe a physical hit. You know, just to yeah, you know, just for coverage, like maybe knock off or foul play, or sh or return or shadow claw or thief. I'd probably go for foul play, and yeah, it is good, but it just it is good in a battle. But I just don't. I'm not a big fan of its design, and. It, uh, Again, I'm not really a big fan of any of the Ultra Beasts designs. 
and it, uh, I just don't like it and I've never really used it that much so yeah Blue Cephalon is number two now onto my least favorite which is Marshadow the reason that Marshadow is my least favorite Pokemon is because even when I'm not using Minimize and the stockpile, I like to set up. If you couldn't tell that with my two favorite ghost types being Mimikyu and the Driftblim, who are the, who basically set up and then sweep or help sweep. Um, so my favorite style is to like set up and then just sweep a team. Spectral Thief ruins all of that. Steals. Targets boost it boosts before dealing damage. So I'm just like, oh, I'll just get a few minimizers up a stock and then get my stockpiles. Bound pass into Mimikyu or whoever gets maxed out my attack and oh no, he's taking everything. And the problem is that I that be that being my main preferred way of uh, uh, battling. Um. It's a bit hard to draw it out to um, get rid of it before I can set up. And yeah, that, that, that does mean that all my Pokemon who need to set up to do their thing can't do their thing um, because of my shadow. And, all, and it also has Technician, which means anything with perfect accuracy hits, which just go favors uh, to uh, screw over evasion. Um, and it, it doesn't really need special fee because just max out the attack and max out the speed and put four into HP and then just go for an adamant nature um, or jolly or whichever one you want depending on the uh, depending on what Pokemon that are around you and then you're probably just going to destroy everything or, and you could probably get and you can then go for choice band or choice scarf or you know, choice scarf it maybe, yeah, and then just like have that spectral thief, you know, ninety one on that's gonna do a lot of damage. And then what other physical attacks do you have? Uh, assurance, which would be ninety. So, and then it doubles if the target was damaged this turn. So if you, so um, if you're in the doubles, you could probably like sucker punch or priority hits them. Uh, brick break or close combat. Close combat's definitely good because you're not going that you don't really care about um, defense or special defense uh, and close combat's probably going to one shot everything uh, or drain punch if you want more sustain. Um, uh, you have foul play which will probably wreck and then you just have iron head for fairy types. There you go. You have everything you need to destroy an entire team and if this wasn't an event event exclusive legendary first off so it's mythical event exclusive so it's a pain in the bum to get your hands on which i never even bother because i don't like it because not only that but it has spectral thief really good stats and it, it just the anti I, I really don't care that much about the designer I'm not too bothered about the design, apart from the fact that you can't really tell if it's shiny or not until it does one of its attacks. Um, and it's just... Mm, it just frustrates me that to, whenever I want to try to do a setup, this thing just says no. No, you don't get to set up your stockpiles, you don't get to set up your minimizers, you don't get to set up sword stances or dragon dances or whatever because I'm I'm here and I could switch in any moment and take it all away from you and then use it against you and it's just so frustrating to just have it happen to you and just like see it on the opponent's team and just be like and set up my things. I can still set up, um, uh, what do you call it? Spikes and stealth rocks on this. Okay, thank goodness it doesn't get rapid spin. Um, but 
but it's just so annoying for somebody who has a play style like mine to just see this. Like, seriously. It's just annoying. And it, I don't really get the point of it because it's just unnecessarily cruel to anybody who wants to say it's like, hey, you what? You want to try and use it? Anyway, I've ranted on about how much I hate this Pokemon so much and I don't want to look at it anymore. Like, this is the only ghost type Pokemon I actively don't want to look at because it just enrages me. Bucephalon, yeah, I don't like his design and it's just basically a more powerful um, Chandelure. But I don't, I can't, I can stand to look at it. Same for Jellicent, I can't take it seriously, but I can look at it. Old Korea, I can look at it, 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 it has a decent design. Delhamers, I can't say its name, but I can look at it. But my shadow makes me actively angry just looking at it. So, yeah. That was my top five uh, most hated and favorite ghost types uh, of all time. Um, if you're wondering why there's no new ghost types on either list, it's because um, I decided to, I decided to do top five of both because that it because it gives me more to talk about. Um, because if I did top ten, then um, I don't uh, think that uh, you know I'd have as much to talk about the first five as a, and uh, I think it would just be. Uh, more easy to just like uh, these are the ones I dislike the most. Anyway, I don't think I could make a top ten most hated ghost types because it'd just be very weird. It's just like, eh, I don't like this ghost type as much as the others. I like this one even less than the last one, and so on and so forth until I got to Oi Career, which is again is the first one I actively dislike. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.